Hey, it's Sean, your Wasted Knowledge Bartender. And recently, I dropped my spoon. Recently, a friend of mine sent me a video of a guy making the perfect alcoholic Dole Whip. And in it, he had frozen pineapple and then a cream rum. Uh, possibly a coconut cream rum. I just remember it was a cream rum. Cream rum, excuse me. And uh, but he just blended the two together. It's like, it's great, because it's only two ingredients. You can blend them right together. No problem. Easy peasy. And uh, cool. And that's fine if that's worked. Um, it seems a little suspicious to me, and, and moreover than that, and especially just being the kind of bartender that I am, I thought, well, well it's probably not the best or very good rum. Um, it might be sweetened condensed, uh, or, or condensed uh, creme, de, creme de coconut. Could just be some dairy. I couldn't even tell if it was non-dairy or not. <coughs> Excuse me. So I thought, well, so as we chatted, I thought, well, not only can we do that, but we could probably do it in a way that's better. And then I didn't ask my friend permission to use their name, so uh, we'll just say she's an illustrious woman. <laughs> she is. I thought, well, if I were to do it, you know, I would do this and that. So, well, you know, I'd also be wanted worried about calories and you know, not too much sugar. And I was like, well, maybe we should just use coconut milk. And then maybe something like monk fruit to sweeten it. So I don't know if this would be better because it probably won't be as saccharine sweet, but we're gonna try it out. So we have our frozen pineapple. I'm leaving one piece as a garnish. We're gonna pop open our, just our regular coconut milk. It's not sweet and condensed or anything. You know what, before I pop open both sides, give it a good shake. Mm. So coconut milk. Usually easier to find actually than creme de coconut. Because a lot of times you'll use this for cooking. Let's see. And we're gonna rinse that out just a little bit. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna put the rum down one of the holes. Stop it. There we go. So that was about three quarters of an ounce. Uh, this is gonna be a big smoothie, so we're probably gonna put or smoothie, Dole Whip, whatever. Maybe five ounces. Actually, yeah. By level, it's about right. Could put an extra half ounce in there. It's about five and a half ounces. And you know, we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit more coconut milk in there. And the reason I'm doing that, I'm just gonna, anytime you're blending fr just frozen stuff, you want the volume of your liquid to be decently close to the upper level. There we go. It doesn't need to go over. You don't want it to go over. You want it to go just below. And some of these chunks are kind of sticking out. So that's right about right. I'm going to make some noise. Might have to edit this out. Got the chunky bits down. Now we're going to add some monk fruit. Supposedly this is eight times stronger than sugar, sweetness wise, although zero calories. for sweetness, although I, yeah, I just did a finger taste, but ooh, I like the consistency. A little bit looser than Dole Whip. Ooh, that's pretty good. I was worried actually that I didn't put enough rum. I can taste it, it's not overpowering. Um, you get the, the monk fruit sweetness. Monk fruit has its own slight flavor to it because it's basically comes just from that fruit, but that's pretty good. I have my Pat O'Brien's Hurricane Glass. There we go. Dole Whip. And a little... Oop. I broke it. My bad. There. A little pineapple slice in there. A little crunch. So, one thing about blenders. Uh, adding ice doesn't always work super duper well. Because... Uh, They'll get kind of chunked around, as you could hear that or see that in the recording. Um, so you want to add that at the beginning, usually on the bottom. That way the blades get it and uh, pick it up to make sure it gets all crushed. Otherwise, taste-wise, though, it's pretty good. One thing I would do, a little less, or so add ice at the beginning, a little less uh, coconut milk, only by a little bit, uh, just because it's a little liquidy. And actually adding that ice at the beginning I would have made everything else just fine, but pretty snazzy. 
dairy free, uh, lower in sugar. Mm, I was about to say low fat. A little bit of fat in there. Coconut milk fat. So, it's dope. There you go. Uh, but with better rum, less sugar. Cheers, everyone. If you have any questions about partaking of cocktails, let me know. Always drink responsibly. You get safe right home. And of course, link in the bio. You can find me everywhere. Say hi. Follow me. So I can make more stuff and so you can see it. <laughs>